That's right. All righty. My next guest just won three uh, medals at the Winter Olympics in Torino. He saved his best for last. and won gold in the 500 meters of uh, short track speed skating. Take a look at his big moment right here. Have you come down from any of this yet? He's still bouncing off the walls? I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy. Yeah. I'm going absolutely crazy. <laughs> now, what's it we got? Now, these are from the last two Olympics, right? That's right. Those are from the last two. Those are right. from Salt Lake. Cool. Um, and then, obviously, there's a right. big change. Yeah. Uh, you know, the Italian, a little more modern. but Very nice. Very nice. This is all very important. And you got the cover of the Wheaties box as well. Yes, you know, I was surprised. I thought the... <laughs> did you like... Uh... Did you like the picture? I thought the picture was a little odd. <laughs> <laughs> I was hungry. No, I was no. here's, the, here's the actual <laughs> picture. Stop being stupid. There's it. There you go right there. Wheaties. <laughs> yeah, that's a fascinating sport to watch. Because, you know, as I watch it, it looks like it's just... I mean, it's I know how much effort it is, but it just looks like... It looks easy? No, not easy. Not that? easy, but it looks almost... It flows, slow motion. it flows well, yeah. It, it flows, it's mm -hmm. so fluid. That's what yeah. amazes me. Because when you watch field and try, you know, the guys sure. run, and this kind of reminds me like, like, like a train, you know, those yeah. big things. Are, that, that's the beauty about the sport, you know, yeah. is that even though we're going 100%, at the same time, it's, it's kind of, it's a beautiful thing to watch. It's now, cool. um, you described this as the perfect race. Mm -hmm. Explain what you meant by that. The perfect race. Um, okay, for, first off, like, my entire career has been solely based on looking for the perfect race. Right. Regardless of outcome. Okay, so like if I go into a race um, and I get like last place or I get fourth place, right. but to me, I give everything I had and it turned out to be, I made all the right moves, I just, it wasn't my day that day. Right. Um, that's the perfect race, you know? The day you don't make any mistakes, you just do your best. And uh, on that particular day in Italy, this particular Winter, winter Games, um, I was blessed, you know, and I had the opportunity to, to really, to shine and it just came together for me. Because you got it right out of the gate and you held it all the mm -hmm. way through. Show the still store that, that winning moment there. There you go. That's it. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> like you look like suddenly a tree appeared in the middle of the course. <laughs> I, did, I, was, I was going crazy. I was yeah. going crazy. I mean, have you watched the tape over and over and analyzed I get, it? I get. I, I start to shake when I watch it. You oh, know? that's funny. Yeah. And it's different from Salt Lake. Um, Salt Lake, I was a lot younger. Yeah. Um, and for some reason, this game just, it just meant so much to me, you know? So much went into this, so much preparation. And um, I don't know, I, like, I really felt a connection with a lot of fans and people from back home this time, you know? And uh, I really honestly felt that. Did uh, you get was, a chance to awesome. enjoy Italy at all, or was it just intense from the second you got there? Uh, to be honest with you, the whole time we were there, I was pretty much thinking about skating. Yeah. Um, but I did enjoy Italy. I mean, okay. it's, it's beautiful. You know. Did you stay in the village? Were you in the... I like, did both. Um, okay. You know, we stayed in the village in the beginning. And then we also had an off-site housing, which uh, was interesting at times. Yeah, what was it? I heard a rumor about It was this. interesting. Well, explain. It was haunted or something? There was, there was a little ghost incident at the uh, off-site housing. Really? Um, you know, a couple of the athletes were staying there. I was staying there. Our uh, sports psychologist was staying there. And, you know, I'm sleeping. And all of a sudden, I hear this like big bump, and you know, I was sleeping with earplugs in because uh, we were so close to the ropes. Right, right, right. It was really loud. And uh, in walks, you know, one of my teammates, and she's like, "Apollo, there is a ghost in that room." And I'm like, "Okay, come on, you know, let me go to sleep." Right? It's like three in the morning, right. and so she's like, "Yeah." She's explaining to me that, you know, she she was just dreaming. Somebody like was talking to her like an Italian. So she woke up. She thought it was just dreaming, and she could still hear this woman speaking to her in Italian, whispering. And then she just kind of shrugged it off until somebody, she felt like somebody was pulling on her hair. Yeah. Yeah. I would, you know, I was like, whatever, you're probably just, you know, just dreaming. Okay. And so I walk in the room after. It's freezing. Like, like, sixth sense cold. 
Right. So at that point, and I thought the windows were open, right? So I'm like looking around, and I'm like, oh, this is, this is wonderful, right? And I'm at the Olympic Games, we got freaking ghosts walking around, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I want to tell him, look, look, I got a job to do, all right? <laughs> but like, right. it was just weird. And uh, I moved out of that pretty, pretty quick. Got out of there pretty quick. All right, so there you go. <laughs> Don't want to take any chances. So are there any, because uh, I know y you really t train intensely. Were there any post-Olympic <laughs> indulgences, something that you had to have as soon as you finished skating? Yeah, you'll like this. Uh, pizza. Oh, pizza. Yeah, pizza. Yeah, you know, that's... That's I, why I don't speed skate. Pizza. Pizza. Yeah. I, love, I love pizza, too. But right. the one thing that, like, like I, I really I like to eat pizza. I really right. do. I enjoy it. And, you know, even though, like, no matter how hard I train, I could probably eat pizza and just get away with it just because right. we burn so many calories. Um, but it was just one of those things where I told myself, Paul, you're going to give up pizza for a year. Um, <laughs> just a mental thing. Yeah. <laughs> it hurts, right? It's hard. I would have to give the medal back. I'm sorry. <laughs> There are certain things you cannot ask an American to do. Get, wow. It that's was hard. See, yeah, that's so the immediately ultimate. following yeah. my first meal was a pizza. Because uh, you had a nickname as a kid, right? You, chunky. Yeah. Chunky. Now, you don't, you don't seem like a chunky. No. Were yeah. you chunky as a kid? I was chunky as a kid. Because I know I like you're, pizza. In, you're in Cosmo. Here you oh, are. Boy. Here, 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 no, are you, are you chunky there? Or not? <laughs> little chunky there, possibly? Maybe a little, 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 little out, of, out of shape. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. A little bit. There you go. I got the thing going. Now, what do you think? Is uh, you're 23 now? 23 now. Do you go to Vancouver? Is that next? I don't know yet. Yeah. I don't know yet. Wherever, wherever this journey takes me, you know. Yeah. Um, like, when do you have to know? In terms of training and getting yourself mentally, okay, you got uh, three years and 11 months. Sure. Um, it sounds weird when you put it that way. It, you know, I would say two years in at least. Two minimum. years. But okay. it, it's a it's a four year right. preparation right. stage, physically and mentally. You know. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't know, you know, I love the sport so much, but a lot of, you know, that perfect race for me was, yeah. it just, it, it felt like I f it came full circle, you know? Well, you know, you, you're a real class act, and you make us all proud. Thanks for being an American. Oh, and Dave, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Be right back with Red Metal right after this. Look at that. Cool. There Imagine a place, no X-rated movies, no birth control, an all-Catholic town. One man is on a mission. Can he make it happen? Tomorrow on Today. The critics are raving about the next great drama, Conviction. But don't take their word for it. Hundreds of thousands saw an iTunes sneak preview, and real viewers agree. It's absolute genius, sexy, Conviction rocks. See what all the buzz is about. Conviction, Friday, 10, 9 central on NBC. Next, all new Ellen, an exclusive Oscar preview only Ellen can give you. Are you nervous? <laughs> With first time Oscar host, Sean Stewart. I'm gonna name a film, you tell me what it's about. Good night and good luck. That's the way that uh, George Clooney ends every date. <laughs> then, straight from the Olympics, gold medal speed skater, Apollo Anton Ono. Plus, from Hollywood to Vegas, baby, James Caan and the entire cast of Las Vegas. Next, all new Ellen. Tomorrow at three on NBC5. Introducing the 320 horsepower V8 Infiniti FX. The SUV inspired by sports car design. I want to be pampered by natives. I want to ride off with that special someone. Games, we look forward to seeing you in Beijing in 2008. United, it's time to fly. Alexei Janulius. He's one of the most outstanding young men that I could ever hope to meet. He's somebody who cares deeply about people. He got the... Talking with Vin Diesel, Find Me Guilty is the movie, the true story of uh, uh, Jackie Denacio. Denacio. Denacio, right. Now, he was... He was in jail already when he got indicted, right? Yeah, he Healing was... Healing cocaine, was yes, that what? Yes, well, and... The, the... AT&T have come together to help you create your world your way. And right now, you can get true high-speed internet at our lowest price ever. $12.99 a month for 12 months, only when you order online. It's the newest thing from the new AT&T. Your world delivered. As treasurer, she You've seen the negative ads attacking Judy Bar Topanka. They say more about her opponents than they do about her. I thought you'd rather hear the truth from me. As treasurer, Judy's been a strong fiscal manager of unquestioned integrity. 
As governor, she'll protect your tax dollars and make sure we live within our means. She's a strong leader, and she'll always tell you the truth. I've been there. I know what it takes. I'm voting for Judy Bar Topinka and Joe Burkett. They'll put Illinois back on track. SBC and AT&T have come together to help you create your world your way. And right now, get true high-speed internet for just 12 nights. All right, Manette Cash just won silver medals in ice dancing at the Winter Olympics. Happened to bring their sport to the attention of millions of Americans. Also, the first time in 30 years, the U.S. has won a medal in ice dancing from Detroit, Michigan. Please welcome Olympic ice dancers, Tanitha Belbin and Ben Augusto. <laughs> Where do you keep these? What do you, what do you do with these? Honestly, since we've received them, it's been mostly in our pockets because yeah. we always need to take them out. When we go through airport security, they're always making us open up our bags because they're trying to look for this big black circle because they're nice. so heavy, they're so dense. So oh, we've been see, whipping but, them out all over But the how place. cool is that, go through the metal detector? So something in your pocket, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, what's cooler than that? Oh, a medal I got at the Olympics, I'm sorry. Oh, that, that's very cool. Now, now I got Now you were voted ESPN's what, hottest female athlete. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that's gotta be fun. Yeah, absolutely. There are worse things to be known for. Oh yeah, no, yeah. that's a good thing to be known for. Now I gotta ask you now, because this is all anybody. Oh, they're coming out. Oh, are they a couple? Are, now are you guys a couple? Only on the ice. Only on the we ice. Play one on the ice. Oh. <laughs> well, how much time do you spend together? Uh, I think we spend. Almost all day together. I don't even know how we have time for our own About relationships. 18, yeah. 18, 20 hours a day. I'm that actually... would be a couple. I'm sorry. That's a couple. <laughs> well, it's got to be tricky because you both have uh, uh, girlfriends and boyfriends, right? Yeah, thankfully they're very understanding and they both came from within the sport, so they right, know the commitment okay. it takes. Okay, so well, how, did, how did you guys get started? How did you get, get paired up? I mean, is this internet dating? Well, how, do you, how, do you, how do you find... Are you looking for someone that does this and you want someone that does that? Do you audition other people? Do you go with other partners before you get together? How does it work? Yeah, it's a very long process. And actually, I mean, we were extremely lucky that we found each other yeah. the way we did. But, you know, Tanith was looking for a partner. Yeah. And she came to Detroit, which is a very good place for skating. We have a great coach there, yeah. Igor. And um, I was in Chicago looking for a partner. And so he called me and said, I want you to come and try out. And so I. Well, it's almost like yeah. a marriage. You sort of. Go with other people until you find the one that's perfect for you. You got to try. Yeah. I had five or six partners before yeah. I found Ben. So when you find the right one, you definitely know. And we've referred to ourselves as like skating soulmates before. So you definitely oh, okay. know when it clicks and when it's right. Yeah. Okay. See, someone tuning in right now would think this was a sex show. I had five <laughs> or six partners before I. Got... Now explain ice dance because I have to admit, up to you guys came along. I thought it was a part of uh, pairs figure skating. I just, I, it's a whole separate category. Isn't it? I think one of the reasons that ice dancing has struggled to gain recognition with audiences and, and also respect from a lot of other athletes is because one of our jobs is to kind of mask the athleticism and the technical stuff behind right. the performance. So a lot of the times we compare it to, for example, gymnastics is just, you know, just the elements and you know when they land it, when they don't, or ballet, you right. know, which is just a performance. And both require equal athletic ability, but in our case, you know, it's more of an art mixed with the sport. Okay. Now, during the Olympics, a lot of couples fell. I mean, there was one day when almost everybody fell. Do we have that, uh, show that piece of tape. Look at this, it's, it's oh, just boom, boom, boom. I mean, it was even on the cover of, uh, of the New York Times. It's just, it's just like, bam, what, what, explain that. Why did, why did, why was everybody falling? Was... It's the Olympic Games, Jay. I mean, they, um, everybody wants to do something spectacular. Yeah. And it's such a huge stage and there's so many people watching and, Everybody wants to do an amazing performance, and I think that that just gives a little extra adrenaline. Yeah. You try a little bit harder on this or that, and it, it'll throw you off. So we were very lucky that we were able to just be calm and do our normal thing yeah. at the amazing Well, event. that's interesting yeah. that you say that, because I see that with performers on this show. A comedian will do a set, and then when he's out here, he'll change it just a little bit for some reason, and it'll either kill or it'll die. And is that, you sometimes do that, people de deviate from their routine when they're out there just to try yeah. and give it that extra thing and that's what makes it happen? Yeah, and there's a lot of adrenaline and, you know, if you, if you train something every day, every day the same way and then you do it a little bit different, 
with all that adrenaline, then yeah. you know you're kind of playing roulette there. So you really have to. Well, my favorite soap opera was when the Italian couple fell. You know, and then you know what it's like. You don't piss off Italian women. Look at this. Watch. <laughs> Well, watch this. Show this clip. Now, watch it. They don't even speak to each other. You Look remember, at this. they came out of retirement. They have been helping promote the Torino Olympics. They came back just to be here, walking right by her, and not even a glance between them. Oh, man. Ooh, that's good. That's cool. Were you aware of them? Were you aware well, that. When they had their uh, now infamous stare down after right. that fall that, that we just showed, um, we were actually the next to skate. So we were standing right next to the barrier, and usually what happens is you finish your program, you take your bows, you get off, yeah. and let the next person come on and warm up. So right. we were just standing there kind of saying, like, hurry up, get off the ice, we got to get on, we got to warm up. So it was a little bit awkward, but we understand that, you know, when, when even if the man is lifting the woman if he takes a fall it's usually the fault of both partners so it's right. really hard to watch you know one person get blamed and get that icy stare now have you guys ever done that thing have you ever gotten mad at each other even early on you know what i think our real claim to fame should be that we've never had a fight and i think that's oh really you're not amazing. a couple yeah no. okay. <laughs> See, that's the not a couple all right there you go so not a couple there it is right there now, I, I love the wardrobe, like the, the, the Italian, what was that, Xena Warrior Princess or something? <laughs> and your mom makes all your costumes, That's right? right? Is that because yeah. you're really poor? Or what's, what? <laughs> That's an expensive sport, but uh, thankfully my mom graduated um, with a degree in fashion design. She's very oh, talented. Okay. And she knows how to make costumes that are perfectly made for me and my personality. So oh, okay. she definitely made our Olympic dreams very special. Now, how long does it take you to get ready to do? Like, you, are you going out on ice? How much time do you need? For the performances, I usually take about two hours in preparation, hours. I have to admit. <laughs> yeah. And, and how long do you take? <laughs> how long are you? Uh, <laughs> about, <laughs> about five minutes. You are a couple. <laughs> they are a couple. That's a couple thing. Now, why did it take 30 years to, to, for us to get another medal? Obviously, you guys are, are good. Obviously, you're better than the people. But is that why? Why do you think it is? I think American ice dancing has always kind of had its own style. Yeah. And I think that dance in the past had kind of been set on a certain look. And they were very much looking for the European style of skating and a very classical look. And American ice skaters yeah. never look like that. Yeah. And so I think that it's just a new generation. And, and a lot of confidence. We kind of approach the sport, like, regardless of the history that ice dancing has had in the United States, right. that we can make it difference. So I think our confidence has helped us a lot. Now, Ben, you do a Gilbert Godfrey impression, am I told? <laughs> Among others, Can I guess. Can you do Gilbert? Let me hear you do Gilbert Godfrey. Well, let me tell you, Jay. <laughs> when they fell on the ice, boy, did my butt hurt. Oh, that's very good. That's very good. Very good. Very good. All right, so what's... Now, what, what, is, what is next for you guys as a non-couple? What do you do next? What, where do you go? We have the World Championships in two weeks, which is why we rushed home from two Italy. Two weeks? It doesn't yeah. stop? You don't get any no, time No off. break just yet, but oh, hopefully man. after that. And then right after World Championships, we go on the Champions on Ice tour. So we'll be traveling a lot, but hopefully at some point we'll take a vacation. Uh, maybe in Vancouver in 10? We go up there? Absolutely. Good. That oh, cool. That is definitely our goal. Great. Yeah. Well, we'll be watching for you. Thanks, guys. Ben, thank you. Be right back with Jamie Cullum right after this. Good job, man. Tiger Woods, Phil Mickelson.